Hi guys, I'm back today with a video on a brand that I have reviewed one other time and I'm so excited to show you guys this palette from them because it is, it's a chameleon. It's more beautiful than I ever thought it could have been or expected it to be. Every color that I used ended up being different than I thought it was going to be. Uh, in fact, I was actually wearing it in my Jaclyn Cosmetics review when I went through that. I thought it was going to be more neutral and surprise, it was like purple and fantastic and beautiful and then greens and blues and just shifty awesomeness. Like I'm so... I'm so hyped. I'm actually kind of sad I didn't get the bigger version of this, but at the same time I also go, I have a large collection, I want to get the most use out of it, so I love the fact that they do this. The brand that I'm talking about is Sigil Inspired from Tammy Tanuka, and this is the palette The Wind Rose Grand Journey North South. I, I had to look at it because I've been like, Hurr. directions are kind of lost upon me and this is like a big name of directions, so <laughs> how you doing? In any case, this is what the outside looks like and I did get the small version of it. Now they have three other versions of this, one is much bigger and and then one that is each of the rows separately. So I'm going to open this up and tell you what I mean a little bit. Sorry, it's a little sloppy because I went in. But the top row you can get it as its own palette. And then the bottom row you can get it as its own palette. And right now I'm hoping I can catch... These all shift so much. I'm You're going to see some swatches in a little bit, and I'm very excited to do that for you guys. Um, but this one right here was about $33 once it's converted from rubles. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. I'm really sorry if I am. It took probably about a month to get here, but it was well worth the wait. Tammy Tanuka makes some of the most hands down beautiful colors I have ever seen. I really wish it wasn't so far away because you do have that international shipping charge, but I'll tell you what, I would do it again. And I did do it again, and I have two other palettes coming from her, and I'm very excited to get them. So when they get here, I will for sure be sharing them with you. And I do have another palette of hers that I have not reviewed yet, so I, I need to get to it. I've got a lot of things. I got things. I got stuff and things I want to do. But in any case, I just got to tell you guys right now, the performance on this is beautiful. If you see it in stock or you see any of the versions in stock, I would certainly pick them up. They are gorgeous. You are not going to be let down. The formulation is just so easy to work with. I'm I'm in a good place right now. Since we are here, I want to give you guys a little update, and that is on my Jaclyn Cosmetics purchase. So I did let you guys know about some of the kind of wobbly, um, hang on, I've got them here. I did let you guys know about some of the wobbly applicators that I had, and I had emailed them, and they actually did get back with me, and they took care of it. So I was very happy to see that they had really cared about what I had to say. So I just wanted to let you guys know, maybe don't be afraid to reach out to them. However, the only thing that I do think is weird is I still don't have an answer on the fragrance, but I haven't had any reactions to it, so hopefully all is well. <laughs> and maybe eventually I'll hear from them, and if there is something I need to be worried about, it must be one of the like lesser ones I have, so there's the good news there. But today, in case you guys are curious, I'm actually wearing Coffee Cake with Get Real over the top. And I think these two together are really, really pretty. Like, I'm, I'm into it. I feel like my lips look like, they look big. And then I did put just a little dab of my absolute favorite lip gloss in the whole world, which is from Ron Vere Villa Mill. I love it. You guys know how obsessed I am with this. And this is the shade Exhale. It's just a clear kind of glittery gloss. And I just put a little dab of that in the very center of my lips. And I've got to say, I think that they look pretty darn good right now. But in any case, I want to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. And I'm going to do two eye looks for you. So if you want to see both of those looks, keep watching. And I'll be back at the very end to give you my final thoughts. The very first shade is called 058. And I, you guys are seeing kind of a greenish bluish shade and that is kind of what it is. It's like that drier kind of highlighting formula. It is very shifty and very pretty. It does have a bit of purple to it as well. The next shade is called 057. And this is one of the prettiest shades ever. Now you guys are seeing a very strong green shade but it goes green to blue to purple to like a magenta color. It is very, very stunning. Hoping maybe you can see some of the flip better on my finger here. Shade blew my mind because I totally did not expect this. This is the shade 056. And in the pan and even from my angle, I'm just seeing like a gray shade, right? And you guys, you guys may be just seeing kind of a like a deep, almost black shade, but it goes blue, it goes green. It is so beautiful. Like, I was shocked by this shade, and I am so disappointed that I don't think I'm capturing it on camera. I'm wondering if you guys can see any of the flips on my fingers. But on the eye, this is what I have in my far corner, and it just surprised the crap out of me. It is 054.
and you guys already know from looking at it immediately this is one of my favorite shades and this is that shade that is very similar to the one that is in the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity palette and it's in a bunch of palettes that I have recently it's like that red to green to gold to blue to purple just so shifty so beautiful so just oh, everything right in the world I this palette was cheap <laughs> 055 and that's kind of a green tone gray shade this is the shade 019 and it's beautiful it's like a taupe goldish pinkish champagneish gorgeous shifting color like ugh, shade 053 And this is kind of like a pinky gray, beige, just beautiful shade. Shade 050. And from my perspective, it looks like kind of a brown toned maroonish purple. But from yours, you're seeing a very bright purple. It is so beautiful. This shade is 051. And this is a really beautiful kind of gray toned purpley pinkish shade. Kind of like a deep mauve with gray. 052. And this is another extremely shifty shade and I am really sad because I don't think I'm going to capture them all this way. Um, but this goes like green kind of a goldish kind of bluish definitely a pinkish and a little bit red and a little bit of purple it is so so beautiful it's amazing this palette is truly very very versatile worth every single penny should have got the bigger one
Okay, I am back, and I have swatched the things, I have put the things on, and I want to give you my final thoughts, which, if you guys can't already tell, I love this. I think this was a really great buy. I definitely think that if you are on the fence about trying her brand, now is absolutely the time. She has done a fabulous job. I'm going to open this up again for you guys to take another look at it. I'll try and move it over here, get some of the different shifts for you. I, I just think she does it right. She just does it right. And to be honest with you guys, the shipping time is worth it in my opinion, just because her products are so good. And the packaging is kind of simple, but I like that. Actually, it's like on the inside, it does get kind of dirty easily just because I kind of make a hot mess because the pants are kind of smaller, but the outside, I mean, you don't really get fingerprints on it. So I'm for that. I kind of, I really like this. I like that they offer different formats. I think it's nice to be able to pick and choose what you're really interested in and get that. Or if you're like me and you have a large collection and you want to, you know, just to have something to try, but not necessarily buy the whole cow. That sounds awful, but for real, like, you know, if you don't want to buy the whole cow, you can just get some of the milk, but not for free. So in any case, I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.